Hey guys, welcome back to this. In this video, this is the third video of the Pegasus Bridge series that I'll be doing. We're going to be taking a look at building the models that come with the box as the book describes. Uh, of course, with some changes as I've recommended in the uh, in the box set itself in my first video. If you guys want to see that, links for it should be popping up about right now. Um, that little thingy that you can click it'll, or the first video in the playlist if you're checking it through that. But yeah, we're going to build the German side and the British paratroopers. Um, I've already got a couple of models built just because they're metal and my favorite models to build, slash my favorite models like ever that Bolt Action does, is the machine gun crews. I, ju I just, I like team weapon teams. I just like building weapon teams for some reason. I like chicken. I like fried chicken. That's a, that's a meme that Mike will only get, but let's start with that. So first off, let's see what do you get as a reminder for those who may not know. The box gives you two sprues, two plastic sprues of British paratroopers. So that gives you 12 infantrymen. It gives you a metal unique model of Captain is Major John Howard commanding the paratroopers during that day, at least for this, this, in, um, this encounter. And we'll get into the, the history and stuff, talk about it as I build. You guys can watch it on screen here. And then on the German side, you get, I believe, you get four sprues of German here. So almost 30, 30 dudes. You're one sprue away from having a full box of them. And that should make you a few infantry squads, your command unit. And you also get a metal MG crew and a quick, I want to say quick, KWK. 39 anti-tank gun, which is supposed to be built in a special base that comes with it, which look, I have actually built a base right here using some bits and stuff I have left over from some other models. I've built basically glued a Star Wars Legion base onto the circle base that came for it, because they do give you two bases for the gun. Drilled a hole in it with a just little, little vise there, and yeah. And just wrote on the back here like what this is supposed to be. So first off, let us start with the crew of the gun. We'll do the gun. So we've got our book here, our little uh, campaign book. The nice thing I'll say is they actually give you instructions how to build some of these models on paper. Usually you can find them on their website. I'll have a picture of this for you guys to see somewhere up here as I start building for those who may need it, if you're gonna build it yourself. But I believe you can only get this gun in this box set. I could be wrong. That's the instructions there. So if you guys wanna take a pause, let you guys pause here for a moment. There we go, moment's done. Again, I'll try to find pictures and have links for it. We're gonna move this over here. So we're gonna be building it onto this base here. That way it can go in and out. It's not glued down. So we pull out our bag, you guys here. So we have a loader, our heads, guy on the actual gun, he's small, and our sort of spotter slash call out dude. Barrel and gun shield. It's a pretty thick gun shield that should give you some bonus. You know a lot of rules in the game base, so ignore it. So we're just gonna clip it off here. I would suggest on this having pliers that you have specifically for metal because the metal will eat and tear into the uh, the uh, teeth of the, the clippers and basically make it just shred plastic, not cut. So I play a lot of Sisters of Battle in bolt action now, so I have metal clippers, but yeah. Uh, some sort of ammo box. I can see no ammo box. All right, so here's all the parts cleaned up. Took a little bit to kind of see where it would all fit together. Guns giving a little bit more more uh, problem than it should. Uh, as a reminder for those who might be first time building metals, uh, wash them off. They have a release agent in the in the furnace, basically when they make these molds, so that they pop out of the the plastic and 
the resiny rubber thing that they use to cast them so they don't stick or scratch up and stuff so the release agent on these will affect how glue sticks to it and especially paint so wash them off even if you don't feel the powder and stuff you should have a nice shine to them so i'm going to go and start build this and when i come back um we'll talk about the gun and yeah we'll talk about it and you'll see it built Gun and crew assembled. So pretty okay. I have just my gun pointed up, like it's raised shooting at the sky. Fall over. Of course, I just glued this guy onto a base because I like to use these guys as. Weapon team fill ins, so like sniper teams, or if I use a different gun, I can just pull one of these dudes out from the army case and just go. So, next, we're going to start with the MG team. The MG team, pretty basic, way easier than that. So, this is the MG team itself. I've thrown some basing material onto it. Ready to get basically primed. Pretty nice um, keys, things I warn about this little support thingy doodad, the tripod that the gun goes onto. It will break slash it bends. They're weird. I don't know why they just change up the design how they do them, but they come flat. You'll have to bend that. The gun kind of sits, the loader, the guy who operates the gun will sit kind of weirdly, kind of almost in a semi, about to grab the bolts of the post, stuff like that. Uh, ammo guy goes on that side. There's a third dude that's supposed to lay right here with binoculars. Again, I put those guys onto a base, use them as spotters, or I put them beside the model if I need it. Uh, if you guys need the instructions on that, this is the instructions on how to build the gun crew in the laying down position this works for basically all of them that are laying down so with that we have john howard here he is built up and i'll get photos for all these guys in the end here so you can see them that's that john howard built now we're going to move on to the smaller ones. So we're going to build it exactly how they want us to build it on here. And yeah, so let's grab the couple of models. We'll build a couple of units on models on screen, and then we'll do the rest off screen. And when we come back, we'll have them all built. Okay. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. Here's the sprue. Flip them out, clip off the bodies. It's a long way to Tipperary, to the sweetest girl I know. Goodbye to Piccadilly, farewell Leicester Square. It's a long, long way to Tipperary, but my heart's right there. After I'm done, Gluing this guy, letting him dry. We have our first pair here. I'm going to go and build the rest of the paratroopers. And when we return back from this video, when we return, we'll show you the British all built on the side here. Hey guys, so we're back. You, um, Took a bit, that was about, I want to say, two hours of building and distractions, but we got them done. 
So let us look at the models here. So here we have our first squad, again, based off of how the instruction manual wanted us to build them. So it's three, three man units. Uh, one with an SMG, two with SMGs, one with a rifle. Second squad here, we have one SMG and two rifles. And then our last unit, we have an LMG, which is the Bren gun, the uh, SMG and a an rifle. Right there. And of course we have our Piat team or mortar team. I'm going to run them as mortars. That we have the German sprue. So this is an older one. Um, these sprues here, as you guys can kind of see, there's little dots there. These sprues would go shabam right on here. To make a full sprue. Uh, I believe the artillery boxes, they're all one piece. But here we go. As in our last, the Italians, you can kind of see what I mean about similar poses. These sprues in here are good for uh, mid war to late, uh, especially right after um, Stalingrad. The whole Eastern campaign where they make Panzerfausts and stuff. So we're just gonna cut off a dude here just to kind of show you Jim Boyo built on the box. So I'm going to go, and because there's a lot of these dudes, I'm going to go find some guys I have pre made, but that's not primed or painted, so you guys can see what they look like built, so you guys can have a side by side comparison here before we actually get into that. Let me show you how the book wants you to build the Germans on here. So the book kind of shows you a diagram here of what it wants. A little blurb about the Germans here, uh, about how this was the 716th Infantry Division that was uh, static. So these guys were made, the unit was made to basically defend this bridge. So in here, so in here the book wants three infantry units of four men plus one unit of five. And it looks like one STG rifle or with Panzerfaust, SMG, STG, and rifle. So it looks like, so it looks like they're comping. So it looks like a bunch of STGs. So your two max SH, STGs you can have in a unit, plus a rifle and a, um, and then your command unit has two dudes with STGs. So this wants to go really heavy STG on it, which is fair. They would probably have this. They would have them starting to come out around this time maybe a test but i think this would be the general time that they would actually be around here it kind of gives you the uh what the lieutenant gives you and stuff so i'm gonna come back with that we'll have these guys out and you guys will get to see what they look like so guys we're back we've got them all lined up here for you the british paratroopers meeting the here gonna deer of the 716th division the tree division so all in all, this is basically it. I'll get the camera here and we'll have a little side scroll of footage. But this is basically the Pegasus Bridge box set here. Um, basically starting here, we have the British Para and their units. And we have the gun in its 
in placement. And then we have the German boyos all built up. So with that guys, that's the video here. This is the building of the models slash showcase of the Pegasus Bridge minis. If you guys want to see more details, I'll have pictures kind of at this point. I'll have a little slideshow after this video of all the pictures I've taken in the models, maybe some painted up. But this was that. So if you guys have been liking this series, please let me know down below. You see that also let me down below, but I'll take some, we'll show, share some videos and some pictures of how I've made the pair, the para, how I made the glider terrain piece. So with that, I shall go and we will see you guys in the next video.